Making a new top PlayStation VR list every few months means we're generally not making any major changes, more like subtle tweaks to the existing list while adding the best new games of the past season. But as the PlayStation VR library grows, we started realizing that we were leaving far too many essential games off of each of our top 20 lists. So here, for the very first time, is without parole's top 25 PlayStation VR games as of April 23rd, 2020. Down by the water, there's a place I know. Every time we think Catch and Release is about to slip off our top 20 list, the developers add a little something extra to keep it on our radar. From the new cave location, to rain and lightning, a nighttime mode, and just tons of new fish to reel in, Catch and Release is far more than just a fishing game. It's a virtual vacation. Though Ace Combat 7's VR mode is fairly minimal when compared to its core flat screen offering, the experience provided in these three custom designed VR levels is absolutely phenomenal. The series' tense and action packed aerial dogfighting is conveyed masterfully in VR during these highly replayable missions. And if you add the surprisingly affordable HOTUS flight controller into the mix, there's absolutely no way you'll take off your headset without a huge smile on your face. Denied. Not clear. Copy that tower. Separation is not so much about solving puzzles, but a journey through a desolate world full of stunning imagery. The eco-inspired landscapes are truly breathtaking, and the experience is much like exploring a painting with emotional moments open to your own interpretation. At this point, you already know that Tetris Effect is the ultimate mashup of Res Infinite's Tetsuya Mizuguchi, VR, and the classic Tetris formula. But leaving it at that would be ignoring the fantastic soundtrack, awesome collection of Tetris minigames, and the amazing attempt at replicating synesthesia for the masses. For those who love it, there's no better way to experience the world of Pandora than in VR with the PlayStation AIM controller. A few changes have been made to optimize the Borderlands 2 experience for virtual reality, but essentially this is the entire game, along with its DLC, presented in the most immersive way possible. Unfortunately, Claptrap will still not shut up. Doom VFR is the only game to make you think that hell has never looked better. Grab your DualShock, turn it up to ultraviolence, and experience the fast-paced, brutal gore play of taking down giant demons and finding secret collectibles to replay the classic levels. And you're keeping the kids because you don't respect me. You push me, and you push me. What happens when you take Rick and Morty, strip out Dan Harmon, and turn Justin Roiland up to 11? You get the most insane 3D platformer, with the most outrageous story with hundreds of laugh out loud moments ever made. The humor is great, but luckily Trover Saves the Universe also has fun gameplay mechanics to keep you going until the very end. About everything. Fuck. Gotta eat some shit, piss, drink some piss. VR as a medium is arguably overrun with too many puzzle games, but occasionally one rises above the rest and manages to solidify its status as a must-play title even for those who aren't typically fans of the genre. Zing the Land Beyond is that game, a beautiful otherworldly meditation on the afterlife that will compel you to bend your mind around its increasingly complex environmental head-scratchers. In the city without a name, 
easily the best sword fighting game for PSVR, Golem lets you loose into a stunning city where you fight giant stone and metal creatures. As you progress, the speed and intensity only builds as you unlock additional masks, weapons, and armor. Shadow Legend rewrites the book on how Skyrim should feel in VR. Sure, it's a small, independent game that can't compare to Bethesda's classic, but everything about Shadow Legend takes full advantage of VR and feels tactile, tangible, and begs to be reached out for, grabbed, climbed, or thrown. Add in some stunning environments, and you've got a short adventure that you won't soon forget. When it was originally released in 1980, Battlezone was considered by some to be the first major 3D success. Almost 30 years later, the futuristic tank warfare franchise has proven that it can still bring out the best of emerging video game technologies. Battlezone is an arcade classic that now sports an unexpected level of depth, and it should definitely be on your radar. Leaving Static off the last top 20 list was one of the most tragic oversights of recent memory, possibly even more tragic than Immortal Legacy's absence from this list. If you haven't played Static, it's a truly original puzzle game that uses the DualShock 4 in new and unexpected ways. But what I love most about it is how it builds up your confidence with the completion of each level, only to remind you how much you suck at the start of the next. It's been forever since I've cared about a video game mascot, and in Moss, you'll befriend Quill, a tiny, adorable mouse full of charm and character. You'll play as the reader as you push each other to never give up hope in saving her uncle and taking down a mysterious evil that lurks in the fantastical forest. Two of the first experiences that players tend to seek out in virtual reality are horror and roller coasters. Though it was one of the original PSVR launch titles, Until Dawn Rush of Blood managed to flawlessly merge these genres, along with a healthy dose of classic leg gun shooter, to create a game that still understandably ranks highly on PlayStation Network's top 10 VR titles over three years after its release. Farpoint is one of the best sci-fi movies you could ever get to experience with you playing as the hero. The gunplay is some of the best the aim controller has to offer, and the handcrafted co-op levels let you and a friend experience a sci-fi first-person shooter together through intense, stunningly designed levels. We're in the middle of the most fascinating scientific opportunity in history. Are you seeing this? It's alien. How long do you think it's been here? Time only moves when you do. Got it? Good. Because despite the plethora of more intricate VR shooters that have launched since Super Hot VR, this relatively simple formula makes it one of the most enjoyable games on the platform, adding a creative infusion of puzzle solving to every action sequence. Plus, if you've got friends over, this is the perfect VR game to put them in, with no explanation required.
You'll be hard-pressed to find a more well-rounded and satisfying racing experience in VR than Wipeout Omega Collection. The package includes three full-fledged zero-g racing games with loads of courses and vehicles to unlock, along with online multiplayer for up to eight. And they've been ported to the PlayStation VR with such grace and skill that Wipeout Omega Collection is an experience that feels smoother than silk when you're in the headset. The persistence is the ultimate stealth experience for PSVR. Every time you die, you'll print and upgrade a new clone to send out onto the randomly generated floor plan of each level of the ship. It does a little bit of everything. Stealth, action, horror, sci-fi, and adventure. As more of a Fallout guy, when Skyrim came to PlayStation VR, it was my first real foray into Tamriel's massive province. Needless to say, it was an incredible, vast adventure featuring every piece of DLC and eventually a huge graphics patch that made the game look stunning, especially on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Whether you're new to Skyrim or you've already played one of the many other versions, everyone agrees that VR is the best way to play this one. VR enthusiasts have long yearned for a proper adaptation of Time Crisis-style on-rails shooting for the PlayStation VR, but Blood & Truth takes that concept to an entirely new level. Here, action-packed arcade gameplay is presented in the context of a high-budget, impeccably crafted narrative experience that sees you navigating the seedy underbelly of London gang life. As such, Blood & Truth is an absolute must-have for anyone who's ever wondered what it would be like to fill the shoes of the quintessential action movie hero. Listen, it was all his idea. He wanted Please. Today a legend is born, ready for vengeance, ready for war, ready for From the moment you begin No Man's Sky, you'll start learning how to survive and craft the basics until it unleashes you into the universe. It's full of endless exploration that you can discover and name while you take on space pirates, drive around in crafts, build bases, and so much more of whatever you desire. As the resident Beat Saber novice who can only beat most songs on hard and just a handful on expert, I'm certainly not going to wow you with my rhythmic slicing skills. But what I can tell you is that from the moment you step into the first song on easy, Beat Saber feels so satisfying. And that satisfaction only increases and intensifies the more you play and the better you get. Expert Plus might be past my skill level now, but check back with me on the next top 25, because I'm coming closer. Victory is mine. <laughs> As a perpetual staple in our top 5 PSVR titles, Firewall Zero Hour has had plenty of contenders, but a year and a half later this team-based first-person shooter has kept the player base consistently compelled to return, with an expanding array of maps, weapons, and skills to employ. It's unlikely that we'll see a worthy competitor for Firewall's endlessly replayable, tactical FPS gameplay during this console generation, but lucky for us it's a game that keeps on giving. 
Making my way to the uh, stairs inside. In three, two, one, go! There have been tons of platformers in the history of gaming, but seldom do they ever do anything to push the genre forward. Astrobot Rescue Mission is nothing but joy from start to finish and brings new innovative gameplay dynamics to the table. At long last, the king has reclaimed his rightful throne. Yes, we all love Astrobot's fun and playful demeanor, but Resident Evil 7 turns off the lights, grabs you by the throat, and dares you to play it. Resident Evil 7 is the most terrifying game I've ever played, and possibly the scariest thing I've ever had to endure in my life. Featuring a ton of replayability and a ton of PSVR-enabled DLC, it's a modern take on classic survival horror. And trust me, if you've only played Resident Evil 7 on a flat screen, you have no idea what you're missing. Edith, it's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. <laughs> Lucas! <laughs> it's amazing how many great games we have on PlayStation VR. Even adding five extra slots to the list didn't give us all the space we needed to include all the games we wanted. So if you're a new PlayStation VR owner, or you just needed some recommendations, hopefully this list helped you out. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all.